Between the frigid waters of Cook Inlet and the towering Alaskan mountains, Anchorage International Airport awaits the arrival of a stricken 747. Northwest 85, we have you on our radar. The passengers and crew of Northwest 85 are now moments away from an emergency landing. As I was putting my own seatbelt on, I remember thinking to myself, is this all there is? As in, am I done here? Am I gonna be alive when this is over? And I thought about my kids and my husband and my home. Northwest 85, clear to land. Emergency equipment standing by. Roger, cleared to land. The crew still has no idea what will happen when the plane touches the ground. There were close to 400 passengers in that airplane and a crew of 18, and uh, some of them people that I knew personally, like John and the other pilots in the crew. So waiting was hard. OK, everyone, here we go. Touchdown in five. Prepare for impact. Brace, brace, brace! You got it? I got it. As planned, on touchdown, First Officer Fagan takes the control column. Captain Hansen guides the front wheels with the tiller. The timing is critical. One false step and the plane could shoot off the runway. We got it. <laughs> Good job, Mike. Good job, guys. <laughs> so what do we do for encore? <sighs> Not that. Everyone in the cockpit was finally able to exhale. And we just went, oh. Once we were given the signal that it was OK. Please remain seated until the seatbelt light is off. I knew that I had to get up and go to that entry door and get these people out of this airplane. We did what we were trained to do. We did a great job. Controllers can see what the pilots can't. That's uh, quite the rudder you got there. Must have been a hell of a ride. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a real joy ride. Yeah. Almost two hours after the emergency began at 35,000 feet, all 404 people on board are safely on the ground. 